Hey, I'm Matt Dodge from Slate Media Technology and Slate Digital. We're going to be showing you the Raven MTI 2 today for Pro Tools and Ableton. It does support Pro Tools, Logic Pro X, Cubase, Nuendo, Ableton Live, Digital Performer, and Studio One version 3. You get access with the Raven MTI 2 multi-touch faders. These are five millisecond response time faders, super responsive and reactive. You don't have to keep your finger on a virtual fader. You can move your finger off and still maintain control and then grab multiple faders from around the screen and control those as well. You also have a mode called Fine Faders, which quadruples the resolution of the fader response. It's extremely detailed right now, but all I have to do is push and hold the Fine Faders button and adjust the response rate between 1 and 20 to speed up the response to be a little different in detail in my fine motions. You can just, one of the great features of the software is also just being able to open up a plugin, reach out and tweak it, the actual plugin controls like it were hardware. And then closing the plugin extremely easily, switching between the different uh, plugins. And it doesn't just work with Slate plugins, it works with any plugin uh, you use. Editing is awesome on the Raven. Two fingers anywhere on the screen will scroll up, down, left, and right. Again, up, down, left, and right. You can also just select and edit. Uh, you can also select a waveform and swipe vertically and horizontally really quickly to zoom in on a selected track you want to do. Then you can select, break, move, fade, modify the fade, and lock that change in just as easily. So again, touch editing is really powerful. But we don't take any functionality away from you with the mouse and keyboard. So, it is, so it's completely up to you as how you use the system. One of the most powerful features of the Raven software is called the batch command system. These multicolored buttons are the batch commands. They have the capacity to execute up to 1,000 key commands, menu selections, and mouse clicks in a single touch button. So for instance, say you're setting up a headphone mix for your drummer. You can just select your drum tracks by hitting command and gliding your finger across multiple tracks for selection. Then I'll hit one button, headphone mix, preset for you. This is going to create a stereo aux track automatically. I'm not doing anything. Name it headphones and copy the send across all the selected tracks and then copy the audio fader level to the send level with one single touch button. Again, that is preset, but all of these batch commands are customizable if you have your own ideas in mind. Another really powerful batch command is being able to add your favorite plugin chain to a selected group of tracks. So I'll take my vocal tracks here and say I want to add my favorite vocal plugin chain. I hit one button, favorite plugin chain, and it's going to go through my preset favorite plugins and add them to my selected tracks. Again, these can be any plugins you want to add. And just like that, it automatically does the work for me, and I'm out. I have my plugin chain. Now going over to Ableton here, um, the uh, floating MIDI pads here have multi-touch access. So these are super responsive in single touch and in multi-touch. Again, you can play the Raven like it's an actual instrument here. And it works really great with Ableton. You know, you can scroll through your, uh, your arrange view here. Scroll through your sessions, select things. Use your floating MIDI pads to perform and lots of other cool features that you saw on Pro Tools all translate across all the other DAWs. Uh, if you do have any questions, visit SlateMT.com for more information on the Raven. Again, that's SlateMT.com.